guys, welcome back to the channel. It's time to predict uh, the World Cup tournament. As we prepare to get into the World Cup, uh, we just have to do the predictions here today. I'm going to take you through who I think will win the whole tournament, starting from the group stages. As usual, subscribe if you have not, and click on the notification bell to get more updates. Let's jump right into it. And this is the bracket. Uh, the group stages and the World Cup that will be taking part in it just uh, tomorrow. The World Cup will kick off. It's time to predict the World Cup itself. So we start off from Group A, which has Qatar, Senegal, Ecuador, and the Netherlands. I obviously think the Dutch side, the Netherlands, who are uh, the highly rated team here, uh, would uh, top it. I think Netherlands will be number one in the group. Uh, followed by Senegal. I think an African team uh, will make the knockout phases here. I think uh, Senegal will be number two for me. Senegal will be number two in this group. Uh, Senegal and uh, Netherlands will go through to the next stage. I also feel Qatar, the hosts, uh, would probably end up in fourth position. Uh, Ecuador, I tip uh, to be uh, number three. Uh, for the group b i think it's going to be an interesting group uh, a lot of rivalries not in the football sense though politically uh, most of the time for iran usa england and wales uh, such an interesting group a lot of diversity here i think the iranians uh, would be the less fancy side in this uh, group in terms of uh, ability and, and quality in the team i think the three lions uh, would uh, be great competitors here i think england usually are doing great on the international scene uh, recently reaching the final of the euros uh, that they played in their home soil i think the three lions will finish as number one in this group wales have talent they have ability uh, but united states uh, will be the wild card one of the dark horses in this group I, I, I find it quite difficult to choose which one to go through, but I think the United States will finish second and qualify, uh, followed by Wales and then Iran uh, will finish in the fourth position. In Group C, obviously, uh, South, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Argentina and Poland. The top two sides here, probably everyone's favorite will be Argentina and Poland, but Mexico have in the past proven that uh, they can ruffle their feathers with one of the best in the world. I would go for Argentina to top this group. Uh, some are dabbing it Lionel Messi's World Cup. We'll see about that. I think Argentina, however, will top the group. And Poland, Mexico, Saudi Arabia. Obviously, I think Saudi Arabia will finish bottom of this group. Uh, no disrespect to them. I think the quality in Mexico and Poland will be too much for them to handle. However, I think uh, uh, Mexicans uh, will uh, pull through and go through to the next round ahead of Poland, uh, who will finish third, and uh, Saudi Arabia will finish in fourth. In uh, Group uh, D, uh, Tunisia, Denmark, uh, France, and uh, Australia. Yes, uh, France, will they have the cares of the winners of the the World Cup have been happening in recent times. It happened uh, to uh, Germany. It happened to France themselves after France 98. Uh, the only country that hasn't suffered that fate is Brazil after winning the World Cup. They made back-to-back -back finals in 99 and two, 1998 and 2002. Uh, what will happen to France in this group? Well, I saw the squad and was not quite impressed by it. I think uh, that uh, France might uh, struggle a bit in this World Cup. All right, but this group should be manageable for them i think they played australia in the last world cup if i'm not mistaken in russia i think denmark will top this group yeah that's how i think this will happen uh, tunisia unfortunate i would have wanted an african team to pull through i think they will finish third france will be second uh, they are not going out in the group stages as many i think in tunisia i tip them to the third and australia in the next uh, position also, uh, for Group E, I think uh, Japan, Costa Rica, Germany, uh, Spain, 
<laughs> it will be an interesting game. Germany versus Spain. Looking forward to that clash. I think the Germans uh, will finish second. Spain to top this group for me. Uh, followed by Germany. Uh, Japan will finish in third. Uh, then Costa Rica for me. In Group F, I'm expecting uh, that uh, Canada, Morocco, Belgium, Croatia... This will be a great chance for Morocco to qualify. The favorites in this group will be Belgium, but we know what Croatia can do. They showed us in 2018 that uh, they are no pushovers. However, I was not convinced by their Euros performance. I think uh, probably uh, they have dwindled in a couple of ways in the past. Belgium will be top of this group. I'm going to stick my neck out for Croatia, hoping that they will finish second. Uh, Morocco third and Canada uh, making the World Cup. I think if it's not, I'm not wrong for the first time. Uh, or maybe the second time, I'm not sure. I think this will be their positioning. Uh, for Group G, I think uh, Brazil, obviously, will top this one. Let me not go any further yet. Brazil, Switzerland, Serbia, and Cameroon. I think the Swiss uh, will finish second. Cameroon uh, probably uh, will have a, a chance to finish in third. However, I feel the Serbians have much more metal in there to that group h game yes the ghana black star south korea uruguay portugal i think this group will be really really tough in the world cup i think uh, portugal have enough quality to finish top i'm going to stick my neck out and hope that ghana can uh, pull a surprise not everyone's favorite i think uh, south korea and uruguay uruguay will finish in third and then we move on to the next stage of it. So I continue with my prediction here. According to my prediction, Netherlands will face uh, the United States. I'm expecting the Dutch side to overcome the United States. Argentina will take on France. According to this prediction I have done here, and Argentina versus France will be a tough one if this does happen on the 3rd of uh, December. Uh, that game will take place according to my prediction. I'm expecting the Argentines uh, versus France. We know what happened in the round 16 the last time. They might have learned a lesson or two. I expect Argentina to go through. Spain will take on Croatia in the other round of 16 game. And uh, it will be interesting to see how things go on that front. Spain, Croatia. I'm going to go with the Spanish side. I don't know. They have a different feel for me uh, this time around. I think they can do it. Ghana versus Brazil uh, will be an interesting game. A repeat of 2006 round of 16 game. Brazilians will have too much quality for the Ghana Black Stars. Uh, England will take on Senegal in their game in there. I think uh, probably Senegal will beat the Three Lions. Yes, an African team to go past uh, uh, the round of 16 stage into the quarterfinals. Denmark uh, versus Mexico. I'm expecting the Danish side uh, to emerge triumphant here. Belgium will take on Germany. I expect Belgium to win this one here. It will be a tough clash. Portugal versus Switzerland in the past in the European competitions has been a tough one to call in the past. And I think uh, uh, Portugal will go in and beat uh, Switzerland, in my opinion. And the next game to look forward to will be Netherlands versus Argentina. It will be an interesting game. I expect the Argentines uh, to win it, though. The Dutch side probably will not have much in their tank to overcome. Uh, the Argentines. Uh, Espanol uh, versus Brazil it will be an interesting one here. Spain versus Brazil. I expect the Brazilians to have too much uh, for the other country, which is uh, Spain to handle. Senegal versus Denmark will be a high feisty encounter. I expect Senegal to break that African jinx and go on to the semi-final. This is what I think will happen. I think uh, uh, Senegal will be the country uh, to have the better chance of getting to the semi-final and breaking that jinx and possible getting a podium place. Belgium versus Portugal in the Euros ended up uh, with a win for Belgium. I think this time Portugal might have the edge. It depends on how the game is handled. I think Portugal will go on uh, to the semi-final to face uh, the young uh, the Senegalese side who 
would be besting uh, their finish best finish in the competition from 2002 argentina versus brazil argentina versus brazil will be a tough one to call these two rivalries i will just have to close my eyes and pick who i think will win it i think argentina versus brazil argentina versus brazil will be tough to call in the copa america final these two were in it and uh, argentina edged brazil because of that i think probably the argentines will be hungrier for it more will argentina uh, be able to overcome brazil i don't know but let me just go with a toss of a coin i think uh, argentina will beat uh, brazil yes and make it to the final uh, portugal versus senegal it will mark the end of the road in my opinion for senegal it will be the end of the road for them and then we will have this final uh, which will settle a lot of uh, talks on who the best player in the world is upon everything i think uh, this one here might end uh, <laughs> a long awaited debate uh, for two of the greatest players in the world in my opinion i think argentina portugal would be a dream final i will not lie to you it'll be a dream final if it does happen who will win it well we'll see about that i think whoo my heart says portugal my head says argentina who would you go for portugal versus argentina i would go for a portugal win to win uh, the fifa world cup so those are my predictions on who will win fifa world cup qatar 2022 let me know what you think in the comments box here